Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I said we all gonna go. Come on. to the Let's Do It Again Band and Show Live TV with your host, straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast, Tom Mo. What's up with you? I hope y'all had a wonderful day today, man. It was nice out there today, man, besides that, that storm we had the other day. Was that yesterday or day for yesterday? Man, that thing was terrible, man. I'm talking about. Fourth of July was good, though. A lot didn't happen on Fourth of July. It could have been because of that rain, right? But guess what? Let's Do It Again Band still played at the block party on Fourth of July on Bay Street Southeast, Washington, D.C. We still got it in, man. We put up some tents, and, man, we look, we cranked that thing up, too. We might play a little bit for you. As the show go on, I don't know. It depends on my man Ron over there, how he want to curve. So, look, y'all already know, man, I like to give a little something, man, before I get started in the show. And my little something today is tragedy is everywhere, man. Unfortunately, man, somebody lost their life today on Martin Luther King Avenue. Southeast, about a big chair. Matter of fact, I, I was in a meeting, maybe two doors down, 
in a meeting maybe two doors down when when it first when, when I had left, let me say that, I had left, and then I, I got a phone call, and somebody informed me that uh, this this shooting had, had just happened where we was at, man. And I'm saying, you know, we, we, want, we want to pray for the family, man. You know, we don't know what caused it, what the reason was. All we know is, man, just so much tragedy going on in our town, man. And we got to get a grip on it somehow. But y'all know me, man. I'm working on some things. I'm working on some positive things that's going to bring more joy than sadness. I just wanted to tell y'all that, man. You hear me? So let's get on with the show, 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 show. I feel good tonight. Why I feel good, man? I had a wonderful weekend. I mean, I just been out, man. Y'all already know. First of all, let's, 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 let's do the shout out right here. Geeking for success. Let's, let's, you know, y'all already know, man, this is my thing, man. This is what we do. This is what we pushing. This is what we trying to get done. These calendars, man. And I'm talking to all you business owners out there, man. Yes, I am. Y'all need, need to get with me, man. Y'all can call in here tonight, for real, 240-719-2560 to get you some copies, man. To get you some copies. And I'll tell you more about it later. But look, what I need to do real fast, I know I just came on, but I need to take a quick break, and we're going to go to a commercial, and I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, what's up? That's right, it's me again, the one and only, man. My name is Thomas Bartley. Go by AKA Tom Mo. Look, come and see me, man, on foxway.com. We're talking every Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.30. You gotta be there. I got a lot to talk about. It's up to you. See you soon. We love. We love. Hey, we love. Let's do it again, man. Come on down here, y'all. Each and every Thursday, I don't know when the next time, but uh, <laughs> I know this Thursday we down at Tacoma Station. That's tonight. right. Let's do it again, bang. Get Let's here, bang. Again, bang. That's right. We down here Thursday night with Pump Blenders. We got an all way coming up, man. We all need to come out here and do this with us, man. Hey, right. Tell me a little bit about Tom O's show, man. Oh, yeah, Tom O's show is great. But if anything else, come and see me play keys. Forget okay. everyone else. <laughs> hey. Y'all tune in to Box Wave. Box, yes. Every Wednesday night from 9.30 to 10.30. Box Wave, let's do it again, let's do it man. Again. Show. Man, right. matter of fact, don't forget, come and see Dave, too. Yeah, come see me. <laughs>
Hey, what's up, what's up? I'm back once again. As y'all can see, my guest made it in. I did. I, I ain't did. wanna tell y'all who she was until she got here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and tell them what your for profession is. How about that? Um, my name is McCole Wells. Everyone calls me MP Wells. I'm um, a pro bodybuilder, uh, MPC competitor in women's physique, but most of all, I'm a racism strategist. Um, finalizing the stages of my PhD. So my focus, my main focus, is working toward the betterment of African-American uh, boys, the education for uh, African-American boys in secondary education and equity for them. Oh, wow. So there's not equity, there's, there's equality, not really equality, mm -hmm. but the equity, making sure that they're not building prisons mm -hmm. for African-American boys, okay. making sure that policies are correct, making sure that we are not thrown into places of special ed, making sure that African-American children, period, know their strengths and know their power oh. and know who they are. Okay, okay. It's that, a lot I know. Yeah, it's yeah, but, that, but it's good, though, because those it's are the type of things that we, we you know, you, I mean, right now in the time that we're living in, man, it's like, Everybody's searching for a certain type of peace. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because there's so much that's going on. So by you doing what you just, because you said so much, I didn't forget I had fun. No, I but, know. But, I but, but what you just said is so powerful to where as though that's going to help us. You it has I mean? to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, it, and it's not a lot of people out here in this city that's thinking like that. Nationwide. Yeah. The nationwide. There yeah. are so many policies that are hidden against African American males mm -hmm. in secondary education because they build prisons toward African American males to every third grade. So they're already saying that you won't make it. They're right. already saying you're, you're not going to do it. So the statistics are 80% of teachers in American sectors, 80% are non-minority, which are white. Exactly. Um, last year in California alone, 56,425, let mm. me repeat that number, 56,425 students were expelled from school systems and suspended predominantly African American, mm. predominantly boys, and 9,000 of those were pre-K. Oh, wow, wow. 9,000 pre-K. I didn't even know that. What can a pre-K do? I didn't even know that. Yeah, and that's, that's in one state. That's in California, yeah. and that's where I'm from. Right. That's not even talking about New York or other places. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What made you want to get into that? What made you? I've been an educator for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I, I taught in the really urbanized areas of Chicago. I'm mm -hmm. from Compton. Okay. Hey, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> L.A. all day. Um, but I'm from Compton, California. Taught in Chicago. I've taught in North Carolina. I've taught in D.C., taught in Baltimore. And all the urbanized places where I taught, the kids that were put in special ed, I would do these programs, write these books with them, make mm -hmm. plays with them, mm -hmm. do all these great projects with them, mm -hmm. and their, their brilliance was so amazing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yet they were given a label. Oh. And so the more and more I started researching it, then I got my master's, and then I got my, um, finishing my PhD, I started doing research with secondary schools, and so what I did, my whole research is about how black men should teach black boys and the oh. importance of it, because out of 33%, so there's 100% teachers, right? Right. 80% are non-minority. 33% mm -hmm. are minority. Mm -hmm. And of the 33%, there are only 5% black males teaching and mm. in executive sectors of education. I mean, do y'all hear that, man? Do y'all hear that? Because because my thing is this right here. If you're watching this show and you hear what she's saying, we need to try to get our kids that's coming up now educated into this to want to be able to help the next friend to pull him up for he yeah. can pull another because we already outnumbered. Yes. We're not outnumbered in color. No. Okay? No, 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 we're no, no, not, no. Not, we're not outnumbered in color, but we're outnumbered in how we get into education. Exactly, exactly. Now, before we exactly. get in depth with that right there, mm -hmm. tell me about the... the um, the bodybuilding thing that you Oh doing my God, too. that's my life. Um, yeah. I used to be 240 pounds. I was okay. a size 20. Okay. I was a big girl. Okay. A big girl. But, anyway, <laughs> but um, I was a big girl. Yeah. But um, I uh, researched something that said black women make ten to thirty-five thousand dollars less per year than non-minority women based on their aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So they'll get us to do the co-job. Like, we'll be the assistant, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll turn into the H&M, as I call it, the house Negro mental. Mm -hmm. The house Negro mental will take her own people down in the company and will not assist her people because she thinks she's done something well. 
But then she's just being used as a puppet because the other, Becky, mm -hmm. will be the figure that they use because she looks the part. Right, right. So I was just like, I'm, they can't, I, I can't have no money taken. This right. journey is too extensive. Right. So I just started bodybuilding, and I started finding out how um, aged muscle is, is more mature muscle, builds better. I started finding out about the body, how certain things you shouldn't eat. Um, just, it just, just different. If it has a shelf, if, the, if it has a shelf life on mm -hmm. the shelf, it has a shelf life in your body. Right, right. So I just started researching, and it really started looking at food deserts in African American communities, okay. and how and we don't have a valid food. We don't have libraries. We don't have anything to feed any part of us. Mm -hmm, we have mm -hmm. liquor stores. Right. We have quick foods. Right. But they don't do anything to feed us right, as we right, need. Right. So how long you been into bodybuilding? Five years. Five years. Yep. So in, in that five years, you lost all that weight. Lost all the way. I lost the weight. And toned it up. And toned it up and started competing. Yep. Won and, first and, place and, in my last competition. Uh, I'm coming oh, back. Oh, then slow down there. You, <laughs> you, you, you saying you've you been in competition? I do. I compete. I'm a, I'm a woman's a physique competitor. So that's when you have to be like 8% body fat. Uh -huh. when you have to be really, really, body, really chisel muscle. Right. So I did it uh, two years ago. And I got first in both my and both where, my And where was that, though? It was in Richmond, Virginia, Virginia, which I'll be going back to this year. Oh, okay. So I'll be going back this year. So you're trying to win again. I'm going to win again. You're going to win. <laughs> Y'all heard, heard it. Y'all heard it, man. I'm going to win again. So, so the thing is, what what can you tell some women that, I don't, I'm not going to say overweight it. women, right? Okay. But women that just want to get toned up, want to look nice. Perfect. What, what, what can you kind of give them to help them? The important thing is that most women need to know that you need to love yourself enough to take care of yourself. This is such a beautiful tool, this body that we've been given for free. Mm -hmm. The atmospheres have given this beautiful tool for free, and we misuse it. Okay. We don't love it enough. We don't take care of it. We eat bad foods. We put bad drugs in it. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't sleep enough, all of the above. So I tell women a lot. You know, it, it, it's the difference between cute, dogs are cute, but women, are, we're supposed to be fine. Right. Like P-H-I-N-E, fine, like we right. say in Cali. Right, fine, right, fine, right. fine, 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 <laughs> like, like fine. Like, fine. So I tell women all the time, love yourself enough, drink your water, drink those foods. Don't do anything for comfort, because no times when you're eating comfort foods, you're just trying to comfort something that you're not dealing with. Okay, okay. And uh, now, you saying, when you say that, you saying emotionally? Yeah, a lot okay. of it is emotional. Okay. I was an emotional eater. Okay. Sometimes okay. I want, you know, sometimes I want to go get down with them cookies and mm -hmm. milk when mm -hmm. I'm mad. And my guy cuts up or mm -hmm. something happens. I'm like, oh, where's that ice cream? And I'm like, right. nope, I got to stay fine for right. me. That's right, that's right. And I know what you mean by them, them cookies and the, the ice cream. Yeah. Because I am most definitely a factor of eating junk food. <laughs> okay. We all are, but and, junk food is comforting. And, but, but you know, the thing with me is though, like I eat healthy though. Mm -hmm. I eat healthy yeah, yeah, yeah. food. I'm just a, a junk dog. I just it's like I go into Seven Eleven. The 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 ice and honey buns. Call me the ice. I'm from. A, so let me it, tell you something. There is some. There is an additive. Mm -hmm. I can't. Th it's like mono or something. And I used to have someone say, if you can't pronounce the additive, don't put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. There's an additive that they put in food to cause food addictions. Okay. Yeah, there's a real and, additive. And, I, and, and, look, and, they cause, I know and so that. people, you just be eating it and eating it and eating it and eating it. Like mm -hmm. you started becoming addicted. Mm -hmm. And it starts, you start feeding that instead of what you really want to feed. So I had to look, even with my clients, I'm like, what is it you're eating away? I have to check myself, check mm -hmm. in all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, what are, you, what are you eating away? What are you drinking away? What are you not doing away? Right, right. You know? And I know that's yeah. true because I did some reading on, you know, and I kind of call myself, I'm, I'm going to get myself together. And I, I, I can't remember what book it was, but I read something mm -hmm. that says uh, that the, the addiction for sweets, right, is yes. it's, um, it's called... Uh, 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 um, that I know it too. I'm telling you because because when I read it, I was like, oh, that's that's why I always want cookies and stuff because it, it's like it, 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 your body craves for it. Chocolate. If you crave chocolate, when you don't have enough chocolate, it means you're lacking magnesium. Okay. I know that off gate. Okay. So if you're lacking at that chocolate thing, you're little you lack magnesium. Watermelon, you can eat watermelon, and it's a natural sugar, mm -hmm. and eat that, and that's a, that's a, that's a, um, a soluble sugar that you can get rid of it and, and eat it. Mm -hmm. You can eat fruits and natural vegetables right. and stuff like that, and they'll get rid. Right. Processed sugar are no-no for the body. Right. 
Right. Anything processed, processed flour, mm -hmm. processed sugar, all that is a no-no because it sets in your system and it right. just sets there. Right. I mean, it sets. Like, sets. Like, like you said earlier, it sets on the shelf. Yeah, right. it sets on the shelf. So sometimes you see heavier people that got the low, 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 low belly mm -hmm. it's because it hasn't released to, through when their you, systems. When you, when you say low belly, what you mean? The like low, low belly. The, the hang down by the yeah, 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 yeah. The low belly. And some of it, and even when you're I heavy. I call that the sliding bull. <laughs> you know, you going straight to hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going like hell, like Hey, look, you'll be right with me because you're here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's the sliding board or it's the pooch. Women got the pooch, the mad pooch. Okay, that's the little bread yeah, basket? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the call, biscuit holes. Because I up. call it the, 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 the uh, short loaf. Yeah. <laughs> when, it ain't the, when it ain't real, you know, you got the little short loaf. No, point. it's the biscuit holder. Okay. The biscuit holder. All right. It's that one too. Yeah. And it, it's like, and then some girls be doing the, the, the waist trainer and then they take it off and they be looking like the Pillsbury, like when you right. hit the biscuits. Right. And the now tell me this, let me, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Because it's, it's a lot of women that wants to be able to control that. Yeah. That, that, because I know the older you get, the harder it is to That's control that. That's your diet. Right. My midsection, thank you, Lord, is, right. is chiseling up. Right. But I eat five times a day. Mm -hmm. I don't eat sugars now. I don't eat cookies. I don't eat cakes. When you start becoming older, mm -hmm. you have to eat to live and not right. eat to comfort right. or whatever. Right. right. And we and we get so set eating comfort foods mm -hmm. that we just be eating and eating and eating. Right. And they were like, girl, I gotta take care of my stomach and your stomach's out here. Right. You you can bring it in. Right. You can bring but it in. But it's gonna be a lot of work. Anything in life is worth yeah. anything worthwhile that you want is worth work. Yeah. If, if if you don't want to do it, it, ain't worth no work. Right, you're right, you're right. Now, anything. how about this? Do you do you lift weights? Do you do weights? Ooh, I get in that gym. Yeah, I'm nice with it. Is you running? I do sprints now. Now it's close to the competition. I sprint 20 minutes. I mean, like okay. sprint hard. Yeah, okay. And my mindset, I'm I'm not a track runner at mm -hmm. all. Right, <laughs> none whatsoever. But in my mindset, I'm like a track runner. I'll be right. on, like, getting that sprint. Right. But what I see is it really leans me out. Okay, okay. It really okay. leans me out. All and right. it builds your, and ladies, if you sprint, it will build your, your, your boom booms. I mean, I got, you know, I'm tiny at the waist, but I got mad glutes. People yeah. say, my, my clients always tease me. They say, how can you be so tiny and, get, and have all that back there? Right, but that's, that comes from squatting and things of that nature. Squatting, right? yeah, because yeah, right, I squat right. nice. I yeah. squat nice. Right, I lay right, press about right, six and right. some change. So, ladies, look, I wanted her to kind of share that with you because she's into the uh, the, the healthy bodybuilder. And and if you, you know, I mean, because I'm quite sure we all want to look our best, yeah, uh, you know, as we get older. And then some of us get lazy and don't even care. But as she said that, Hard work, you would do hard work for yourself if you love yourself. Yeah. If you love yourself enough, you'll yeah. leave the cookies and the tater chips and all that stuff along which from this point, uh, sitting here next to her, I'm going to try. <laughs> I can't promise you nothing because I know that I love sweets. And I and every day I'm at 7-Eleven getting two donuts. No, not 7-Eleven. Yes, two donuts. No, get the coffee banana, and two bananas. And the orange juice. No. I don't even drink coffee. That's I'll okay. So just get the two bananas. They're a dollar. At yeah, 7 that's true. Save me some money, right? Yeah, and and don't do the bananas. And the thing of it is, you have don't to remember. Don't do the bananas. Now do the bananas, but not the donuts. Okay. So the, and what what you have to remember the most thing I want to leave with everyone with is when you love yourself, you got to really, it took me a long time to love me. Right. So I'll be going through some stuff, but most times I'm like, oh, I'm quick to, yeah, like, okay, I'm out, because right. I love me. It, when you love yourself, you're going to take the best care, because like I said, this is such a free, beautiful gift called the body. And, and it's free, and you got to nurture it and love it. You'll take, you know, one thing we do in our culture as women of color, and I'm mixed with Puerto Rican and, and African American, but I'm still black. Right. I'm black. Okay. Black women, we will take care of everybody, 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 everybody else, and then we we forget all about us. Right. You out of shape, you got a heart attack, da, da, da. and mind you, mm -hmm. I had a heart attack, two bypass oh, really? surgeries at the age of thirty-five. Oh wow, sorry to hear that. No, yeah. but I, that's why I started working out. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm yeah, telling you, that's why I be telling people, that. yo, let's get it together. Yeah, you got to, you, you got to. to. So, to. so look, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna come back with y'all, man, with some more of the. Physical body. Yay. She make me feel. I don't even want to show my muscles. <laughs> I don't want to show them, me up. But I'll knuckles, be right baby, back, man. Let's knuckles. do it again, man, and show. We'll be back at you. <laughs> you are hilarious. You're so funny. Oh. Now we <laughs> I'm 
to tell you straight up about the music, the part you don't understand. We talk about let's do it again, bang. And again, and again, and again. For your listening pleasures. To make sure we hit your fancy so you can do your dance. Yeah, I'm the guitar player for this one. Do it again, group. And I love to just make people laugh. So just come on down in your time, your spare time. And I guarantee you, it won't be bad. We definitely will make you don't feel sad when you hit those chords. And you be doing your little moves. You get your little dance together. And then it's all over. Peace. This twin with the last doing again band doing it with Big Mo and them tonight at the Tacoma Station. You know, we're gonna have a nice little little party, make it work for Mo and, and Let's Do It Again. So y'all come on out and come on here this funky saying that uh Let's Do It Again got with Mo and the boy. Twin, I'm out. Enjoy some good old school go-go. Grown and sexy style. We have a lot of people here, you know. And um, we, we do our thing, you know, what can I say? We have some hell of a singers, you know. We got Big big Dave over here, he can hold the damn. Hey Dave, step in for a minute. Say what's up, baby. We got Tom right, on, right. on the mic, doing the ones and twos too, cause he, he do his thing. Got a hell of a back line, and I mean, <laughs> we do what we gotta do, guys. Hey, Come out, support. Yeah. We here, we're gonna enjoy it, and we hope that you enjoy it. Cause whatever we do, we gonna have fun doing it. You know what I mean? Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hey, I'm back once again. Let's do it again, band and show live TV with your host, the one and only Tom Mo, straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast. Man, look, let me come on, let's give applause for my guest tonight, man. Because I'm telling you, man, she she done turned my whole show around tonight for me. And, and that's for real because I did not have this plan uh, at all. Uh, I got a phone call. I was talking. She was in the car with my man. And then I heard on the other side. I was like, well, man, bring her on up up here. She said, I will be on my way. Look yeah. at her now. Yeah. Here she right go here. right here. Yeah. So let's give her one more hand for showing Very up. And let's excited. do it again, band and show. Very exciting. So look, mm -hmm. on the break, we had a whole nother conversation. A whole nother one. A good one, and, though. And, 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 I, and, and I'm going to bring that thing back to the forefront. Yeah. I already know my backstage people on uh, Facebook and uh, um, what's that? IG? It's yeah, like yeah. IG. Uh, I can't even get myself together here. <laughs> the gram. Yeah, there you go. The Peace. All right. Now, I, like I said, on break, me and her had another conversation. I was asking her about why women, and then I said, let's use this for example. Sure. You know how they say, how can you, and this is, is, this is strictly gospel. How can you say you you love someone that you never seen, which we're talking about Jesus Christ, but you cannot love a man that you see every day? And your response was, "How can you do that? You can't, and you when you don't even know how to love yourself." Right. See, there. Are, see, and I'm talking from my own piece. What I went through with being heavy what I've been through with PhD, what I've been through. I've been homeless. If you even knew my story, you wouldn't even understand it. In 1998, I was stabbed 10 times, mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. died on the table, came back, mm -hmm. two heart attacks, homelessness, all the above. Right. So my experience makes me who I am. Right. It's not the book knowledge, that too, right. but my experience. Right. What I have experienced is when you're insecure in yourself, mm -hmm. you will point fingers at other people. Right. I have to even sometimes check myself with my dude mm -hmm. because I have to pull me back and say, okay, stop being so insecure because mm -hmm. I'm fire, I'm fire, I'm okay. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So a lot of times we got to learn to love us. And, and, and there's so many built insecurities that we won't even say. Right. I can't tell on my, on my, uh, um, uh, my um, plans with my clients. The first question I say, when did you stop loving yourself? Oh, oh I love myself. Oh, no, no, no. Because mm -hmm. if you did love yourself, real talk, yo, you would not be out of shape. Right, that's right. Because you move and groove differently when you have mm -hmm. your body together. Oh, I was, yeah, I, listen, definitely. I was two forty, size twenty. I'm a whole different bag of tricks now, boo. Right. Five six. Right. I walk a whole different. I got a whole other kind of swag. Baby. Right, right. That's right. So it's different, and, and it's not conceit. You've done the work. I'm in the gym doing the work. I'm working on my PhD. I'm working on these. I'm working with kids. I work on different cultures. So I'm building my mm -hmm. own, per not mm -hmm. so much the bag, right, but I'm, right. my bag is this whole thing right here. Right, so right. we've gotten the bags confused. Right, right, right. right. You're, you are your bag. Right. You just ain't that bag in the hand. Because right. there's a lot of people with a bag in the hand that's crazy as a Bexie goes. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, so you got to learn to love yourself. Now, how about this? Now, how about this? Because we touched on this yeah, right here. Yeah, we did. Let's go. That's the touchy we, one. I know you're ready to go. Go, go, ahead and dive. <laughs> go ahead and jump. <laughs> the, um, we, we, we was talking about um, why mm. when black men get successful, yes. why do they choose a white woman to share their career? And your response was? A lot of times they have been molded by society. They have been molded by labels. And sometimes there are so many fire black women professionals out there. But please go to history and the Willie Lynch letter and everything that was like the light skin, dark skin. It has been the separation of states mm -hmm. and, 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 and congruence for a long time. Mm -hmm. So we have lived by that. Right. We have branded ourselves with that. Okay. So we don't do that. And a lot of times, as I say, women, we have got to wait. I, you know, I love black men. Mm -hmm. I can't go nowhere else. Even right. though I'm Latin. I love the Latin brothers too. Don't get me twisted because that's my family. But you know, but I love black men. Right. right. And and brothers are so important. 
But the thing of it is, I think a lot of times that we go to other races, and sisters are going to white guys too now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. they treat me better. How, you know, give brothers a shot. Y'all be cutting them off at the pass a lot of times. Mm -hmm. and, and don't give them a fair shot. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and if one doesn't work, it doesn't mean they, uh, they don't work forever. You got to find that one. But first, you got to love yourself and mold yourself. Right. You got to write right. yourself your own love letter That's and right. create your own brand with you. Because mm -hmm. we're so busy looking in it for uh, look, looking for love in someone else instead of here. Right, right. And and I and I have said that to many people yeah. that I done had conversations with that seems to be unhappy. Right, right. You know, it's like, you know, like you cannot make someone else happy if you're not happy with yeah. you. Ooh, not at all. You know what I'm saying? None whatsoever. And, and people and don't understand that. They be like, you supposed to love me. You supposed to. I can love you all day long, but if you ain't loving yourself, you're not giving me love back. And can I please tell you something? Sure, we go are ahead. humans. So we expect, we have this expectation of humans. And I have to check myself with this too, my guy. Um, we have these expectations of humans to be these superhuman people that don't have faults, that don't have insecurities, that don't have this and that. And they do. They won't tell you. Right. So you just got to be okay with you. And if they don't come along in your journey, if you guys can't make it work, it's okay to be friends and go on your separate ways and keep That's it right. moving. Right. We so busy trying to hold on. There's another statistic. It says 72% of the world uh, uh, are waiting to get back at someone, live in anger, live in hate, Live in yesterday. Try and get back. Uh, try and get back with someone they did. Uh, are are upset with the world. Are upset with they are. Don't like what they are. Only, only 21, 21 to twenty three percent of people live in the now, in the present, of building and developing. I read that. I said I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person that's in the negative. Right. That's right. You don't I just be. don't want to be that. No. no, no. And, and and sometimes people will say, Oh, you're negative. No, no, no. I'm truthful. Right. I'm real truthful. Now, and I, sometimes my truth is not your is not your yeah, truth. Yeah. And that's your lie. Right. So that's just, right. And and a lot of people can't take that truth. No. A and the lot truth is of people real. can't take that truth. They can't but, wear that shirt. You know, growing up, I always heard truth will set you free. In a minute. And I used to be like, you know, when I'm cutting up and messing up, and I'd be like, nice. nah, I ain't telling the truth for what. But as I got older, I learned that that's a true bill. It is. If you it's tell the truth, man, you'll feel a whole lot much better, regardless of what the other person might feel, because sometimes you got to hurt some people's feelings telling the truth. Yeah. Some people, and, and, and when that happens, it's because they don't know how to take the truth. No, no, you they ain't I mean? been no one with the truth. Even no. my students, they'll sometimes and they'll they'll get they'll be sitting there like, do I tell a lie? And I said, tell the lie, and I'm really it, it will not be good for you. But you tell the truth, and so they'll tell the truth, and yeah. I'm like, okay, right, don't do it again. And they're like, you right, you, right, that's what? All I, that's I, all I, it's okay. Yeah, that's all yeah, I had no, to no, do. I, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll it. learn exactly. Because exactly. you, you wear that shirt called lie, it's gonna it's gonna be spunky tails, and I'm Man. going to the principal, and your mom and daddy is gonna be on and popping. Right, up in I'm exactly. Not doing. You don't want to do that. So what 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 ages is it that you're teaching these students? Um, I teach my program um, from kindergarten. This this summer it's from kindergarten all the way to uh, seventh grade. But I normally teach kindergarten all the way to twelfth grade. Oh really? And so we write books. Um, when Obama, right before Obama uh, came in office, we I was in, 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 living in Chicago. We wrote this press this. Um, a uh, play called Dear Mr. President. Okay. Everything was in uh, black, uh, red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. And the kids wrote these stories about living in Chicago, mm -hmm. living in, in, in detriment and poverty, writing letters to the president. And it was an award-winning play. Oh, but did the book ever come out? No, no, it was a play. Oh, it was a play. Yeah, and then okay. we have another book that I, I'm, I'm working to get published now, but we right. did that, and it was The Diaries of Room 108. And they, it's, they're still in circulation in Chicago, right, only right. certain okay. sectors. All right, what was but, the name of it again? Um, Diaries of Room 108, Urban Euphoric. Oh. I always give kids these mad titles. So we're doing another one here in um, D.C. Um, we're going to have it at Seton Elementary. It'll be in three more weeks. Um, I'll get the date. Um, but <clears throat> the kids are doing, um, uh, I have a mixed races, Hispanic mm -hmm. and uh, African American. Okay. And they're doing three different um, uh, series. One is uh, Dear America. The other one is The Truth Is. And the other one my black is beautiful. I'm very okay. excited because these are okay. seventh graders. They're coming with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're coming yeah. with it. And his, my Hispanic kids are talking about the Trump and the wall. Mm -hmm. And I, I let them speak in their natural right. language. Right. Because I, I, you'd be surprised how Hispanic kids 
being mixed with, you know, so mm -hmm. you, they, they get lost in that circuit of being Hispanic. Right, right, You know, they'll just right. say, oh, my name is Dennis. No, 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 what's your name in Espanol? Right. What's your full name? Right, right. You know, Dennis, um, or, or, you know, or, um, Jimenez, Martinez, Garcia. Okay, right. that's what I want. Right, Do right. not be ashamed of who you right, are. Right, exactly, exactly. And, and so finally when they start coming with that, they everyone's got their own insecurities. Right. So yeah. we start in, in making our babies insecure young. Mm -hmm. One of my little boys today, I said, um, we were writing poetry, and, and I could see his face. He started churning. And I said, come here, Deshaun. I said, what's wrong? I said, you're not a good writer. He said, no, I'm not. I said, okay, that's cool. Right, right. You're truthful with me, and I that's love the fact right, that they're truthful. Right, now you can that's help. life right there. Yeah, now you can that's help. breath, so yeah. I'm good with it. So we just yeah. make it work. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. How, mm -hmm. you, how you feel about music? I'm a singer. I love music. Music is uh, everything. You, you're a singer. I am. I sing you, jazz. You, you want... I got a stage I right here. Jazz. You want to give us a piece? We got a stage. <laughs> now you I show sing jazz. We got a stage right here. We do live performance jazz. right here. We can uh, use some, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, some slight right now for me. You I sure? I sing jazz. I do sing jazz. Well, um, no, okay. I don't want to be like the okay. church people. You know how they, right. yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> they go and blow it out. Y'all pray for me and go in and wear that thing. Y'all be looking all crazy. So I'm like, oh. Now, I'm going, I'm going most definitely... Have I'm on you YouTube, bad. though. I'm all on YouTube. Oh, is you? I'm all on oh, YouTube. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, um, what, um... I kind of lost the focus of singing. I, mean, I, I still love to sing. That's my life. That's mm -hmm. my breath. That's oxygen. Okay. But I really, my focus now is really the bodybuilding mm -hmm. and really educating communities right. about, um, uh, health and wealth and really yeah. working on kids. So I got something to say. You were talking about the church earlier. Yeah. So I got in trouble. <laughs> I, I talked to some pastors in mm -hmm. some areas, and I said, God is a God of the living. He's a God of life. Mm -hmm. So I need you to have more life in your neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see a big church. Mm -hmm. I want to see a big grocery store. Mm -hmm. I want to see a big library. Mm -hmm. I want to see a big bookstore. I want to see some That's big right. buildings. I want to see some life in our neighborhoods because right. there's so much detriment mm -hmm. and, and, and demise and, and alcohol and trash in our neighborhoods, but the church is humongous. Yeah, yeah. No tea, no shade, but I need you to build that atmosphere right. if you want it really popping. Right, but how did you, well, how did you get in trouble though by Because speaking they truth? said I was talking too much. And, and uh, what, so, so this conversation took place in church or on the street? And no, it was in church. I was talking to a pastor. I okay. said, y'all be darn doing what you need to right, do. Right, And it got okay. a little heated. Right. Because I was like, right. the Bible says he's a God right. of giving. He's right. a God. He give, he's a giving yeah. God. Yeah. So why? Yeah. So so don't give to your pockets. Right. But make sure that goes to the community. That's right. Because they're, cause they're dying. That's your community right. is dying out yeah. here, and yeah. you ain't doing nothing. Well, yeah. we help the sick. No, you help the sick on, on Christmas. Right. Thanksgiving with the big meal. Right. But there needs to be libraries, grocery stores. That's right. There needs to be this, there needs to be that, and you're not doing it. And, and so it, it got a little heated. Yeah, I, I, and where I was asked yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they put you out the church. <laughs> no, they just asked me. They didn't <laughs> want to talk to me anymore. They got shut Well, we got to go. We got to meet. And I said, I bet you do. <laughs> Sound like, like to me, they kind of escorted you up out that camp. A little bit. Snitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, they had the cane, but like you know, Sam hey, But you know, you know how church is. Church is church. Believe me, you got yeah, the, but I'm you got like, the right ones, and then you got the ones that's doing whatever they doing. Yeah, but I was early. like, just I was like, I'm not no Tino Shea. Right. But right. where I go, I'm not seeing what I need. Our, 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 let me tell you something. The majority of our kids don't learn because they not they hungry. I keep food in my classroom. Right. right. I, I've been keeping food in my classroom for the past ten years. Right. And all I know, my baby, Miss Wells, I'm hungry. Okay, I got you. Right, that's right. But, but you won't get a crumb yeah. past your lip. You don't pass the test. Right. Just, <laughs> just but you know, but 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 it's it's I I believe that ki in D in D C I was substitute teaching, and there was a non minority teacher that had seventh graders, and she wouldn't give the kids pencils. Mm. She said they always steal the pencils. I said pencils, mm. and then I got in trouble again, mm. as usual. Mm. I said pencils are a doggone dollar. Right, exactly. So I started buying the kids pencils. So I had donuts. I said, here's a pencil for the day. You come back, give me the pencil. You got a donut. Okay. You know, I had that, full. I right. had twenty you pencils it. back. Yeah, you you had the right method. You yeah, put, I was like, you, you know, put the right method together. Yeah, they hungry. You want to eat? Okay, give me them pencils. They was doing their little work. Let me check your work too. Don't play with me. Okay, yeah. Miss Wells. Okay. okay. And I was a sub teacher, that's and I still right. see some of them kids. That's Remember right. Miss Wells? Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? You're doing a great job in the community. Appreciate you. Glad to have you too. You know, because if we had more women like you, 
to do the, some of the things that you are doing. I ain't got to do exactly what you're doing, yeah. but just incorporating some of these things that you have been talking about tonight into their life, that'll help the world too. You know I what I mean? Too. We need to help one help another. Now, I asked you, did you like music? Because I'm going to have my man Ron play this song that I just uh, okay. trying to produce. As you see, my hat says Boogie Shoes. My it. shirt says Boogie Shoes. And I'm, I'm, I'm pushing this song right here out to the public because it's, it's, it's a happy song. It's a joy song. And when me and my partner was talking about this song, he was saying, man, you know, you can take Boogie Shoes where though Boogie Shoes can be a uplifting song where though you may have a guy that's laying in the bed, ain't doing nothing, his mother come in there and be like, you had to do better. You had to get up and do fine, do something. Mm -hmm. And he get up and put on the boogie shoes, and he up and running. That's the thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. He up and running because of the boogie shoes. Yeah. But, Ron, I don't want to go to a commercial, though, Ron. I, I want us to stay live, and you play this song, man. Boogie shoes. Go day, that's going to stay. I am the C, CIO. No, no. CIO. CIO mm -hmm. For Geeking for Success. Gotcha. So, Geeking for Success is sponsoring 
Let's do it again, band and show. Okay? So it's not just let's do it again, band and show. Mm -hmm. Geeking for success. Then let's do it again, band and show. Gotcha. Then we the link. Mm -hmm. And DC. One last thing. So geeking for success is the umbrella. All right. And then let's do it again, band is the tier. And then you have we the link, right? Which is the sponsor. We the link. Okay. And that's the other tier, the sponsor right. tier. Right. Tier. Right. Okay, got gotcha. you. It has been. It has been built. Nice, nice, nice. It nice. has been built to a situation where where now is the time for this band to get credit and knowledge sure, for sure. the work we've been putting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, your own stuff. You're owning your own. Could you play Let's Do It Again? Nice. I'm just going to share a few songs that we done already Got mastered, got, you, got, got you, done. Got yeah, yeah. Just so you can kind of hear where we're going. Mm -hmm. Because what we're trying to do, we're trying to bring the music back, the old school so music I'm back. So let me tell you something. I want you to kill one word. What's trying. That? I hate that yeah, word. Yeah, trying. Yeah, try. You're I doing it. I shouldn't have said let me try. Tell you, there's a shirt. I, I apologize. Say, there's a shirt that I have. Trying is a half. Oh, half my goodness. Season. Here we go again. Come on. I like to see the president that I think about to all my family and friends. Oh, wow. Let's do it again, man, and show. You're doing it. 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 you are doing it 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 been like in record uh, radios and nothing but only on my show yeah but you people but, but you're playing them and so understand your show is going out to atmosphere yeah so it, it just, really is so here you're, you it's gonna be more right it you really know it's is. gonna be even, even more so but we but but geeking for success mm -hmm. is such a powerful uh, creation yeah it is because it's all about I mean, just just the word. Success is key. You know what I mean? Yeah, success who, is key. Who, who, who don't want to be a part of that? No, I mean, you have to be a part of it. You because because everyone in their own structure is deep for success. You lose your mind to be successful. Right. You and if you're not, shame on you. Exactly. Yeah, you're you're wasting some breath. You <laughs>
I think a lot of it is you have to build your brand. Right now, African Americans was all that your, your president's doing, mm -hmm. that man there, that, mm -hmm. that man. Mm -hmm. And right now, African American women are number one in, in schooling and in education. Mm -hmm. Blacks are number one in entrepreneurship right now. Mm -hmm. We are, I mean, we're coming with it. Mm -hmm. So we just have to, and see what they do, they show so much negative that we don't even know how we're riding the positive. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at the gentleman, Robert Chambers, when he paid for everyone in Morehouse. Mm -hmm. So them some brothers in, 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 out the bag on the next hit going, doing their thing. Right. So exactly. we're coming. So we are coming. But we have to learn to be even stronger, you know. Well, I want to I wanna, uh, say this, that um, I, just, I just got so much confidence in uh, where I'm headed yeah, with yeah. Geeking for Success, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also with Let's Do It Again, Band and Show, yeah, yeah, yeah. and also with this particular uh, live TV broadcast. This is amazing. You know what I mean? Do you know how wonderful this is? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, you don't I, know because you're doing, doing it. Yeah, I'm just doing Because you're doing, doing you're, what, you're, you know, in, you're you in know. the cake batter. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, see, I'm, I'm looking at how the cake's being made. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah, because I'm, trying, I'm, trying, <laughs> like, I'm wow. trying to put a, a, a... Not what I say about the word. I'm, I'm putting a, okay, I'm putting a plan together There you go. For Strategy. Success. Strategy. Yeah. Strategy. For success. Strategy. Right? And I want to help people understand that no matter what your background was, mm -hmm. what you can do as you grow. You know what I mean? Oh, I completely agree. I work with, um, I used to work a couple of years ago, I was working with um, underserved youth. A lot of the kids over on MLK Southeast where they had the issue today. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those reentering kids, and they're 20 to 24. What they don't tell you, they always tell you about the, med um, the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Because they want you to rotate in systems of poverty so you'll go back. It's mm -hmm. a rotation cycle. Right. You know you, you used to making the bag on the street, so they're going to tell you about doing that, so mm -hmm. you just rotate in certain circles, mm -hmm. right? So the important thing now is to live by the living wage. Walk in that living wage. Right. I educate kids on the living wage. I said, if you're going to make it, do the living wage. Cut some hair, get a paintbrush, mm -hmm. cut a lawn, cut mm -hmm. some grass. You know, use your hands. The reason they took those shops and all those things out of cultures before is because we were so successful at it. Right. Automobiles, okay. stuff like that. They took all those things because we were successful. It was, it was all a plan of demise for us. Right, exactly. So they took them out so we would start core testing. And they, they know African Americans, it's an, it's an old signature. They've done the research. We're not testers. We're workers. We're movers. Mm -hmm. So they took out that out of us mm -hmm. so we wouldn't have our entrepreneurial quality. So you're doing everything you're supposed to right, do. Right. You're, you're, you're going to the masses. You're mm -hmm. walking on the water, honey. Right, right. See, Peter didn't, Peter didn't mess up till he looked down. Right. You walk in, you look at him, right. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Amen. messed up when he said, oh, I'm human. Oh, and then right. he said. Oosh. Get him, get him. I know. Oh, I'm looking me. <laughs> Boom. There he was. And well, look, so, yeah. we're running out of time. I got you. You, you got some shout outs you want to get to some people that may be watching or, or want to um, look at it later? I would like to um, shout out Coach East Hill, um, my love, and uh, who introduced me to you, which is yeah. amazing. Amen. I would love to shout out all my students at Seton Elementary and Cleveland Elementary. Um, just shout out black women who are queens. And this is my tag for my show. Oh, can I give? And listen, my IG is the number four. You are info power. Four, you are I-N-F-O power. I always, every day I got some. So they, they, it get a little rough sometimes, but I'm, I have always about the power of us. Mm -hmm. So this is my tag. No matter what, don't forget. Your kings and queens. Amen. Amen. Y'all heard yeah. that? No matter what. Now, look, I want to send a shout out to Geeking for Success, man. Hey. Thank you so much. My man, D Eagle, man. You already know, Slim. You in the house with me every time I'm yeah. on here, man. We together every day doing what we're doing, man. We like to send a shout out to my man, Coach Cheeks, man, because he's in the house as well, man. He with us. He riding with us, man. We the link, man. You know what I'm saying? We most definitely doing this thing. All you got to do is go on the. Um, I forgot again. YouTube IG. Yeah. YouTube and IG. Yeah. Go and on Facebook. It, 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 go on. Let's do it again. Underscore geeking. That's G4S. Let's do it again. Underscore G4S. Also go on. We the link one. We the link one. You will see what we doing with the community. 
where we going, and we trying to help your city. Give me hit us up on let's do it again band at gmail.com. They are helping your city. All you gotta do, <laughs> I, I'm still. <serious. laughs> All you gotta do is hit us up, man. We we gonna be in your town. That's what we trying to do, man. We got a lot coming this this year. Yeah. Not just the summer. We talking about winter. We got power grill open up. We grill do it. I mean, it's yes, already open. Yes. But but geeking for success and let's do it again. Band is great. Come down here and really give you some talent. Give you some outlets, man, where you can do what you want to do. Yes. Until next time, as I always say, peace and love. Don't push and shove. Peace. I'm out of here. And you kings and queens, thank you for this <laughs> opportunity. It's great. Yay. Here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends.